Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So I am back from my vacation, I am all rested up and the first thing I did was I got back onto my world to try out that new overhaul mod because I saw it just as I landed where I was going and I was so gutted because I was like that is amazing, I really want to try it but I loaded it up and burnt part of my world. So I'm going to do a full video on that soon. I want to make it a little bit different because I saw a few YouTubers have covered it and I want to, you know, cover it in a different way. But we'll see. We'll see what I make about it. But guys, I am back. It's nice to be back. Thank you to every single one who was patient. Thank you to everyone who just jumped on board with Forium. I really appreciated it. I have, uh, I have something cool today. We're going to do the Cryogen Boss. So that is what I have geared up for today. But I also mined some, um, some, oh my god, chlorophyte. There you go. I'm trying to remember the word. So I mined some chlorophyte. So what we're going to do is, before we do this fight, we're going to upgrade our armor and see if we can get a little bit better. I also spent time setting up an arena for Plantera. However, I couldn't manage to find a Plantera bulb and I looked for like an hour. So I'm kind of salty about that still. But it'll be fine. Right, well, I have lots of things to talk about. So, I guess we'll start with the armor first. And then we'll just chat about what my uh, little vacation was like and a cool little story about it. Well, there's two cool little stories. Right, this one. Increases maximum mana by 18, reduces mana usage by 17%. 10% increased magic damage and critical strike chance. Um... Set bonus. Grants magic damage, crit chance, and defensive boost as health gets lower. You have a 10% chance to absorb physical attacks and projectiles when hit. If you absorb an attack, you are healed for half of that attack's damage. So it seems that, like, when you're not using uh, Calamity stuff, it doesn't really seem to benefit you at all. I mean, we've got 330 mana, and then set bonus. Summons a powerful leaf, and our defense is 64. Let's swap it over. So what was it? 330? Okay, it's 330. Swap it over. It's 250. Uh, yeah, go on then. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a good go. Right, and I've already set up my arena and set up all the potions because I am a super prepared dude. Right, so my first little story goes like this. So, I was in the airport and I had uh, I'd gotten up at like 6 in the morning and uh, I'd just gotten to the airport and I was like, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a full English breakfast. And so me and my uh, my partner... We were sat there enjoying our, our breakfast, and some guy kind of kept looking over at me, right? He, he seemed a bit like, uh, I don't know, not like he was steering a rope, but he seemed really intrigued. And so I was like, okay, I'll, uh, I'll just carry on eating my breakfast. And so I went to get up to go to the toilets, and uh, he walks over to me, and he goes, Hi, are you chippy? <laughs> and already I'm kind of like, whoa, because I never get recognized in public, because why would I? I mean, like, I have my face in, like, five videos, so I thought it was really bizarre. And then uh, he goes, my son, he's like, my son loves your content, and he's sat right here. Would you, uh, would you take a photo of him? So, you know, we took a photo, he was really nice, his name was Liam, and he'd been a subscriber for a year. But I just thought that was really funny, because, uh... That was that never happens to me. Right, so we'll do the boss fight, and then I'll talk about the second one. So, I prepared this arena, by the way. It's got campfires. It's got a space to block projectiles. This is what I read on the Wikipedia page. Um, and I've got a few little, like, little magic lanterns and stuff to try and block things out. And, uh... Oh, look at that! Oh, no, I didn't mean to spawn it! Buff up. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I really didn't mean to do that. I thought I had my weapon in hand. That's what I was trying to click. Okay. We'll see how we do here. Alright, this is notoriously hard, by the way. This is why I set up a full arena. Because I heard that it was pretty, pretty notoriously hard. Like I say. Right, okay. I could do without the ice golem with amazing precision, please. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, preparation. Kind of wasted. But I did this thing where I uh, I also set the, uh, oh god, I set blocks on top. That took a long time to make because then it stays in the biome. Good stuff. Oh god, I'm taking more damage from the, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down there and kill the ice golem. I probably should, right? No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe bad idea. Right, let's try and aim this a little bit better. Once I can aim, then I'll, uh, then I'll chat. <laughs> 
Okay, this is still going strong. I'm still going strong here. Okay, it becomes enraged, so I don't want to take it too far out because I don't want to trigger its enragement. See, I wasn't sure whether to use the Magnolia because the Magnolia is great and it's also the most advanced one we have. But then there's also the, uh, you know, the hard mode water bolt. And I was kind of thinking, well, that'd be great in this arena because then you could essentially just uh, cheese it around the arena and let the... Uh, let the bolts do the work. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I can't even move. Okay, it throws me in place. Okay, this is probably a good spot to be at, just to try and avoid some of those projectiles. Is it still stood there? Okay, it is still stationary there. Okay, so I don't know how many phases I've gone through. I think that's, I think this is the fifth. And I think I'm coming up to the sixth. Let's see. Um. Oh god. Okay. Okay, so this is the sixth one, and you can tell because it's faster, and it's stronger, and it's got more defense. It's all around hard. Where's it coming from? Oh, you know what? Clever move, James. Clever move. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was actually all right. <laughs> I'm glad I prepared for that one, because if I hadn't prepared properly, I'd have just failed that. Right, let's try and kill the ice golem. Right, the ice golem's defeated. Awesome! Awesome, and I got a frost core. Nice. Although I don't exactly need it. Right, okay. Well, that one's done. I didn't expect me to, to do it first time. I kind of prepared for two. Oh, well. Right, so my second story goes like this. So I was, uh... Oh, wow, actually, let's look through this, and then I'll, and then I'll say my little story. Okay. What's this? A frost flare, equippedable... All melee attacks and projectiles inflict frostburn, immunity to frostburn, chilled and frozen, resistant to cold attacks and plus two life regeneration. Being above 75 life grants the player 5% increased damage and critical strike chance. Being below 25% life adds the player 20 defense and 50% max movement speed and acceleration. That's really cool actually. Open this up. So we've got some cryo bars. We've got an arcane soul of cryogen, equippedable. The magic of the ancient ice castle is yours. Counts as wings. Descent acceleration 1.35. Descent flight time 60. 10% increase to all damage and pick speed. Frost damage added to melee swings. That is awesome. So we may as well just move that over because we're using frost wings. I mean, may as well, right? So this is kind of cool. How far does it go up? Let's see. Right, does it go up all the way to the sky? Well, that's not a very good test. <laughs> Into orbit. Tell you what, all my achievements have been reset in Terraria. I keep getting them. Right, let's try it out. So this is our ascent. All right, that's just, that's just really good. We'll just keep that on. A cryogen mask. That looks really odd. It kind of looks like uh, something out of a Crash Bandicoot in a way. All right, cool. Cool. I'll, uh, oh, we got some weapons as well. We got the Icebreaker and the Glacier Crusher. Nice. Cool. That's pretty cool. And then this one. Oh, I like that one. That one's actually really good. Okay, awesome. Dylan the Guide? Oh no, you best stay away from James the Clothier or I'll break some skull. Okay. Everything is done. Let's see what, uh, let's see what these make. Um, is there any melee weapon, uh, magic weapons? All right, this one, the Snowstorm Staff. You just need uh, an ice machine and six of these. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't exactly remember where I put my ice machine. I had one earlier, and I moved it, and I can't remember where I put it. I probably put it back in crafting. Um, you know what? Ice machine. No? Hmm, right. That's something I'll work on. Don't worry. I'll get that for, uh, I'll get that soon, guys. I don't know where I put it, but, uh, I should be able to get it soon. Right, so the next boss fight is gonna be Plantera. Now, like I say, though, guys, I actually don't have... I ain't got any more Spelunker potions. Oh, no. I actually don't have a Plantera bulb, which is rubbish, because they're meant to spawn by now, so I don't get why I've, I've not gotten one. But what I'll do is, I'll uh, I'll put some stuff away, and we'll go and find one. And I guess I'll do a jump cut here, because this will take me a while. 
And I feel like you guys would probably appreciate a jump cut because honestly, this will take a while to find because I literally looked for an hour and found nothing. All right, so I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I wasn't able to like find a plantera bulb. So what I did was I started like cutting through the world in three block tunnels, like digging. So hopefully it will encourage the growth to grow in them tunnels because I noticed in my jungle I had lots of like area, but none of it was flat enough to really grow plantera bulbs. So hopefully that helps. So instead of that boss fight, I thought we could do calamitous because if you look at boss checklist, calamitous is right here before plantera. So I thought we could give it a good go. I mean, I've got potions ready anyway, and I've got a stadium. And with Calamitous, if I remember correctly, Calamitous is kind of just about flying away. But I've also not done the Brimstone Elemental either, so I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing that. So let's give this one a go. So while I make my little crafting recipe, this actually, it should already be here. Here. What is that? Mage combination grants buffs, which are necessary for mages. Oh, you can combine all together? Oh, wow. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. I'll take that. Because that increases the buff length for uh, magic power. Because magic power is only two minutes. That's ten minutes. That's so cool. Oh, that's part of the alchemist thing. Ah, I get you. That's not in Calamity. Right, well, that's cool then. I'll happily take that. Right, so my second little story is this. So, when we got to the island we were staying on, we were staying on Majorca, if you guys know what that is. It's like a really cliche spot. A lot of British people go there. It's basically like, if you want a holiday, that's where British people go. Anyway, we went to Majorca or Mallorca or whatever it's called. And uh, we noticed that they had this little uh, boat ride that goes all around the island. And it was like, it looked really gorgeous. Like, it goes around for about uh, three hours. So, we were super excited for that. And... Uh, on our second to last day, we were like, yes, let's do that tonight. Like, let's go and do that. Or today or whatever. And um, so we spent a bunch of money. You know, we got our tickets. It was meant to be three hours long. And uh, 20 minutes into the journey, I realized I get really bad seasickness. And I never knew because I'd never been on a boat like that before. So uh, I didn't last long, to say the least. And uh, I basically got 40 minutes out of my boat ride and a taxi home. So... <laughs> There's a little warning to everybody, but there's my second little story. Not as good as the first, because that one kind of involves me throwing up. The other one's kind of about a cool, uh, a cool little interaction. Okay, right. So, if I remember correctly, this fight looks easy, but then it spawns two minions. I believe that's the way it works. And you have to be fast enough to outrun the boss. I believe it's a her. I don't know. I don't really play the program game with uh, with bosses, to be honest. Ugh. I know some bosses are he's and some are she's, but I do not take the time to learn them. And my ignorance is my bliss, in a way. Because then you know I'm just not playing the pronoun game. <laughs> if I don't know, then I, I'm not saying the wrong one, in a way. In a way. I don't think that would hold up in court. Alright, maybe that was probably one of the stupidest things I've ever said. <laughs> but only one of them. Alright, can I walk on water? Oh yeah, so I can. Okay, so this is good, because this means we're going to get back through the second half. Right, so if I remember correctly, the trick is to literally just keep sprinting away from these two. Oh my god. I remember doing this for the first time and being like, oh, Jesus. It looks a lot different than the first time I did this fight. It does look good. So if I remember correctly, you have to beat the two brothers... And then it will spawn Calamitous again. Or the two sisters or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Brothers, sisters. They're both eyeballs, aren't they? I mean, is your eyeball male or female? I don't know. That's a really good point. Are they different between genders? You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know. <laughs> oh, God. It's good to be back. Really, It really, really is. I love being back in my office. Making videos. Honestly, favorite part of my day. Okay, um, right, I'm just going to keep flying away, I'm going to heal up. Oh, I like that second eyeball looking thing, that looks cool. Okay, so that one's been defeated. Oh, okay, I'm going to head back now. Okay, do you know what I could have done with? More movement speed. But I don't know what else I would do. Maybe not do this, I guess. Okay, let's regen some mana. 
No. Anyway, my cloth ear died. I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I noticed the new one respawned and it wasn't James. So I'm super sad. Okay. Right, so if I remember correctly... Oh my god. Wow, they really have made this one hard. So if I remember correctly, there was a, a stage where it would happen. So, like, it would spawn two brothers, but then you would have to, uh, you would have to face the two brothers a second time. So I'm kind of hoping that's not the case here. Okay. Alright, my mana overloader is healing me a little bit, which is nice. Yeah, so you have to f defeat the brothers again. Okay, I probably could have done this better. I could probably fly a little bit better. Okay. Alright, so hopefully I'm going to fly over my house now. I think I am. Yeah, I'm definitely high enough to fly over my house. We're in the sky. Okay. Oh my god. It's mad how it, like, curves its bullets. Okay. Alright, I can't heal, by the way. So this all comes down to this final bit here. I have 20 seconds left. I've got a little bit of healing. Oh, there we go. The Calamitous Doppelganger has been defeated. Awesome! Okay, I'm really proud of myself. I did two good boss fights. Usually when I come back from a, a break, I suck. I suck anyway. You guys know that. I mean, I always see people talking online about uh, about how bad I am. But I feel like we're all aware that I'm bad, so it's all good. Right, okay. Oh, that's cool. Right, Um. I got this thing. I don't know when I got this, but cool. Open it up. So, we get Ashes of Calamity, an unpleasant oblivion, 71 melee damage, fires brimstone lasers when enemies are nearby. Oh yeah, it's the uh, it's the yo-yo. That's cool. It's the yo-yo which I forgot what it was twice. And we also got this, the quick void of calamity. Equipable, material, cursed, 15% increase to most damage and 10% increase to summon damage. Brimstone fire rains down while invincibility is active. Well, that's really cool. That sounds like a really brilliant accessory. I just don't know what I would uh, trade it with. Maybe you guys can help me out on that. If I was going to trade it with anything, I'd probably do it with that. But maybe you guys can let me know. So, I think after looking at some crafting recipes, that is it for today's episode, guys. It's great to be back. I really want to thank everyone for supporting the channel while I was gone. Sigil of Calamitous. I think we could work on that. I mean, that doesn't seem too hard. That's something I'll have to really think about, though, and remember. Okay. Calamitous's Brew. Ooh. Adds uh, flames to your melee. Cool. And these are melees. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, I want to thank everyone for uh, for sticking around while I was gone. Being really nice. Sending me loads of tweets saying, uh, have a great holiday. I, uh, I really appreciate it. And... Um, just in general, I really appreciate the support. You guys have been dropping hundreds of likes on every episode. There's loads of comments, and it's really, really nice to see. And uh, you made taking a week off really, really pleasant, because usually it's a really stressful thing. Like, taking a vacation on YouTube, ironically, is actually really stressful. But uh, I feel great, and uh, I just want to thank you all. Right. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.